you guys don't know yet, I upgraded to the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. I love the performance boost, the better battery life, and I love the ports that were added back into it. And if you want to hear my thoughts why I got the 16 inch over the 14 inch, click this video right here. In my opinion, there's very little to complain about. And yes, the notch, it's not a big deal. But there are accessories that I use that makes the whole experience even better. And so I want to share those with you today. And stay tuned because I'll be giving away my favorite MacBook Pro accessory to two lucky winners. Most days I use my 16 inch MacBook Pro docked and I have it sitting on this Grove made laptop stand. There are two finishes to choose from, from Eastern Hard Rock Maple or American Black Walnut. The laptop rests on a stainless steel form catch lined with merino wool felt which keeps your laptop protected. This stand allows for proper ventilation as it only has two very small surfaces blocking the vents. And the bottom of the stand is lined with cork for peace of mind when placing it on any surface. When I have the 16 inch MacBook Pro docked, I have it connected to an MX Keys and MX Master 3. Both of these complement the MacBook Pro so well. The typing experience on the MX Keys are really good in my opinion. They have enough travel and the sound that they make are not overbearing when you're on the phone or having a meeting. I've tried several keyboards, but I still go back to the MX Keys because of its feel and look, and it just fits my needs. I upgraded to the MX Master 3 from the version 2 mainly because of the USB-C port. The functionality is pretty much the same. You can customize some of the buttons, pair three devices, and it's designed well and it's very comfortable. My favorite part is the thumb scroll, which makes it easier to scroll horizontally. When I use my MacBook Pro undocked, I like to switch to a more low profile mouse like this MX Anywhere 3. It's better for moving around the house, working outside, or traveling. It has a lot of the same characteristics as its bigger brother, but it's just more portable. It feels great to use, but I do wish that it had the thumb scroll because that would make it perfect in my opinion. It's worth noting that both the MX Master and the MX Anywhere use dark field tracking which allows you to use it on any surface. The addition of the SD card reader solves a big chunk of my port issues, although I don't really have a need for the HDMI. It's just good to have one just in case. I'm trying to transition as much as I can to USB-C whenever possible, but it's actually pretty hard to do, so having something like this 8-in-1 USB-C hub is still important to have. The important thing though is that dongle life is no longer a thing because most of the time I settle for a USB-A to USB-C adapter like this and it gets the job done. With Apple charging a lot for internal storage, having an external one is very important. I've had this one terabyte Samsung T5 SSD for over a year now. It's fast enough to edit on and it's pretty reliable. I like that it's light and compact, which makes it really handy and a good option if you're trying to save a little bit of money. The new MacBooks have amazing battery life, but nothing beats having a backup just in case. OmniCharge sent me their product to test. They didn't require me to make any video but I decided to include it here because I think it's great. It's a 20,000 milliamp battery that has two 18 watt USB-A ports, 10 watt wireless charging, and a 100 watt wall socket. But if you get the Omni 20C Plus, you get 100 watt USB-C output instead of the 60 watts which is perfect for the 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is such a versatile power bank that can charge different devices multiple times. This will definitely be in my bag when I travel or when I want flexibility to move around when I work. Gone are the days of putting a case on my MacBook Pro, but that also means I'm extra careful when I'm not on my desk. So I decided to look for a sleeve that can protect my MacBook Pro, but in my search, I also found one that improves productivity on the go. This moth carry sleeve is three in one. It's a sleeve, a stand, and a storage. The sleeve part is pretty self-explanatory, so let's focus on my favorite part, which is the stand feature. My issue with working on a laptop is ergonomics. I hate looking down on the screen, it hurts my neck, and it negatively affects my productivity. This sleeve solves that by having a smart folding design. With a simple fold, you're able to lift your laptop 15 or 25 degrees, which gives you a much more comfortable experience working, consuming content, or simply getting a better angle for your meetings. In front, it has a tab to secure your laptop and prevent it from sliding. When you're on the go, you can pack everything back into the sleeve, including whatever accessories you have within this flexible storage layer. It has a mesh-like design that conforms to any size and prevent your accessories from moving around. 
This is my favorite MacBook Pro accessory hands down. It makes it easy for me to work anywhere and it helps me stay productive. If you wanna get a chance to win a brown 14 inch or 16 inch sleeve, all you have to do is follow me and Moth on Instagram, leave a comment on this video, and also leave a comment on my MacBook Pro accessories post on Instagram. I'll be picking two winners on December 27th and I'll be announcing it on Instagram. Just to be clear, Moft is not sponsoring any part of this video other than the giveaway. I reached out to them and they were willing to help me give back to you guys in this small little way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this MacBook Pro accessory list. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.